Welcome to Acholi Trump TV. I am Julius Ochungi. In this last episode, we speak to Archbishop Emeritus John Baptist Odama about the contentious matter regarding the appointment of a nun Acholi as the Metropolitan Archbishop of Gulu. On March 22nd this year, His Holiness Pope Francis appointed Nebi Diocese Bishop Right Reverend Raphael Pomoy Wokoraj as the new Metropolitan Archbishop of Gulu, replacing Odama who retired after 25 years of heading the Gulu Archdiocese. This didn't however please everyone at the Archdiocese with some suggesting they had expected a son of the soil to occupy the office. This announcement has not been exciting because it is not the expectation of the people. People expected perhaps even uh, persons not uh, this one here that has been announced. People expected that this time maybe we will get the sound of the soil to become the Archbishop of Gulu. But the way it has come now, everybody is now quiet. So the big question is why hasn't a son from the soil been appointed to this highest rank in office in the Catholic Church? Archbishop Emeritus Odama explains this. The people here can become, pre, uh, what do you call it, can become bishop. The only thing is this. The church, when they are looking for a leader like a bishop, eh, they, don't want, they don't want to sense politics. I don't know if you get me. I'm getting you. And they don't want to hear anything bending towards tribalism because those are very dangerous and if they come in the church with that kind of feeling and that kind of uh, mentality they will stop even very good candidates can just be stopped because of those kind of things and I don't know exactly what may uh, have happened in the past there were some tendencies towards tribal mm. because the church is for all <laughs> the church is for all and everybody who is in the church should feel I am a member of the church you see yeah. and this was one of my key things which I really worked for in my personal life as a rector at a local I said I want to make sure you are my people I am your son. And that was the attitude I took. And I worked throughout for it. If one of the reasons why I became a bishop, I guess it was this. This must have been one of them. But, as I said, any, because during the time they are checking among the population, eh, mm. who could be a bishop? They will check, they will ask about this, they will ask about that, they will ask about that. They will ask any person, any person. But when in the process, because they are, as they are asking, they are getting from this one, what is this one saying about the other one? And what is the other one saying about the other candidate? When they detect something, which is what you will call, which could cause antagonism, mm. they will stop there. They will check all the others, write records down, and then they observe during those periods and see what is the reaction. Some people who could have been proposed as bishop and they were truly could have been become a bishop, some people may have opposed them. <laughs> Some may have said, no, 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 not that one. That is not a good one. No. So you see, when this kind of uh, uh, comments and so on arise, eh? uh, it spoils everything. <laughs> you see? And the, 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 all these things will be brought to the Pope. He says, no, I think in this case, this one should not be there. No, this one could be, but 
there is something not okay here because people are not commenting very well about him. Mm. Whether among the laity or among the priests or among the religious, and even by the way, for the promotion of anybody to become a bishop, they don't only ask priests, they don't only ask the sisters or brothers, they ask anybody, any lay people. Even some of them are not, who are not even Catholics, they will ask them. They will even ask some government officials. <laughs> so they want to get somebody who is for all. Who is for all. Whether for the people in the government or for the people in other religions, even they will ask people from other religions, what is the opinion about this person if he was to be made a bishop? Some will tell you, mm -mm. that one, we don't think that he can make it in that area. So those are some of the handicaps eh, which can happen. Otherwise, personally, there were some capable candidates. Let us accept what has come up now, and we, we work towards that. But we should do correcting of ourselves. Leader Diocese Bishop Linus Wanok, however, says there is a need for internal reflection on the quality of priests being raised from the sub-region and how they suit the quality the Holy See wants for the appointment of an archbishop. Actually, my message to the archdiocese is that uh, we should discern together. And especially as the church today is uh, emphasizing synod of synodality. That means let us try to work together and then see internally each one is to go internal in himself and to see the quality what the Holy See really wants from for appointment of bishops. So, and, and that one really we cannot do much except if we reflect internally and we see how we are raising our young uh, uh, priest and so on and, they, and what the quality do they want and why not here and those things must be as, as eternal hmm. and outside nobody can answer it until it is answered eternally hmm. yeah. thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel and kindly hit the notification bell to get alerts of new content I'm not okay, man. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. I don't know what any are doing now. It is finished. Yeah. I can feel it.